Hello and welcome back to Miranda's Designs and Creation channel. As you can see today, I want to show you another type of Canadian smoking. Um, I'll put up the picture right up here so that you can see the design that I'm referring to. And uh, if you haven't watched the other, um, the other video I did on Canadian smoking, I'd advise you to go and watch that one. I'll put the link in the description box if you haven't seen it because it's very similar to this. There's only one difference in how you actually design the, the, the style. So you can see that I have drawn these boxes they're actually vertical and horizontal lines on the paper. I put it um, that way so that uh, you can see. I put it on paper so that it would be easy for you to see before I can transfer this onto fabric. So I've gone on to draw these boxes. They're just uh, vertical and horizontal lines measuring one inch all, all round. So you can see. It's one inch on top, okay, and then it's one inch on the sides, one inch on the bottom, and uh, so that you have a perfect square. Uh, it's easier that way so that you make sure that your design comes out perfectly. So you can draw them to the size that you want. If you want the design to be bolder, you can um, use two inches instead of one inch, so that would be two inches all around. Okay, and you do that to all the boxes before you start drawing your style lines. Okay, so you can see here indicated I already went on to draw the style lines for this design. And what I'm just doing is I'm uh, drawing a, a line from one corner to the other end like that and slanting them diagonally in each box. So you draw one diagonal line, you skip one box, draw one line, you skip that box like that. And then you go to the next line, you're going to leave that line uh, with uh, another diagonal line, but facing in the opposite direction. So you leave the first box empty and then you draw the line opposite uh, the first lines that you drew so they are going to be diagonal but facing the exact opposite direction and you also remember to skip each box that follows your your style line i hope that's not confusing so you just draw a diagonal line skip the next box draw the diagonal line again until you've finished drawing the lines in that entire column okay and then when you've done that, you go to the next column and you slant those diagonal lines in the opposite direction. Okay, and then you can see here what I'm doing is I'm going back up to draw diagonal lines identical to what I've drawn in the first column. So they'll be slanting in the same direction like that. Skip one box and you draw the lines that way. Sorry, I something bumped into the camera so there was a, a shift there so i've gone on to draw those lines and here i just want to you to see or to notice the pattern so the first column you draw the lines that will be identical to the third column the second column your your lines will be identical to the ones in the fourth column so you go on to interchange them that way and always remember to skip a box in between so you would continue there from line number five, which will be identical to line number three. So you're going to draw your style lines that way in all the boxes. Go down the column until you've reached the end. And then you start in the next column, slanting them in the opposite direction. Always remember to skip that uh, box in between your style lines. So this is how your design will look like. Or your style lines will look like if you go to line number six it should be slanting in the same direction as your slanted line in column number four so you just continue with that pattern until you've drawn to the end i'm just trying to arrange my fabric there yeah so you are going to continue slanting them in the opposite direction of each other and skip one box like this you can see I'm skipping one box there and I continue that design. Skip one box, I continue like that. 
and then I'll move on to the next line and to the next line until I've reached the end of the paper or of the boxes that I have drawn. After this, we are just going to be transferring them to the fabric. Okay, so just make sure that your lines, your style lines are consistent so that there is no mistake. Because if you make a mistake in how you, you are drawing the lines, it's going to affect the outlook of your ultimate design when you now transfer it to fabric and you go on to tack down those points that you need to tack down. So just be consistent and uh, draw the style lines carefully. And then after that, you are going to transfer it to the fabric. So here you can see that I've gone on to draw or to transfer the style lines on, on fabric. So this is what we're going to, to be using. It's a piece of fabric. And I've already drawn the pattern throughout the pattern on the fabric. And I'm going to be using... Um, needle or thread I'm going to be using a matching thread and a needle so that when I tuck down the points it will not be very visible okay so I'd advise you to look for a matching thread that you can use for your design okay so you're just going to be tucking down one point to the other so you just follow the design the way you drew the style lines, you are tacking one point to the other, skip the box, then you tack one point and to the next, and then you're going to go on throughout. So you're just tacking down where those two points end or where one starts and to where it ends. You just join those two with your thread. If you want, you can do it with machine. I find it easier when you do it with your thread because it can get quite uh, messy in there as you go especially if you are going to do this on a large scale i would advise you to use um, needle and thread so i'm just going to start here to show you how to tuck it down so you pick one point there where the style line is so i use the double thread here and then just make sure your thread lies comfortably. You also want to secure that point. Okay, so I'm just uh, passing the needle and thread again there to just make sure that it's secure because you don't want this to pop as you go. Okay. So the, th need the thread seems to just be tangling there. But I find it more secure to use a double thread than a single thread, but you can do as you wish. Uh, so here I'm just trying to untangle the thread on that first, um, the first knot that I'm making. Okay, so maybe don't make your thread too long so that you avoid that tangling. So, okay, we are just putting our needle and thread to the first point and then you are going to that other end of the line where you drew your style line. And you are going to pass the thread, let it lie comfortably, okay? And then secure that end as well, like so. And then you are going to tuck those two points together, okay? So you see, just hold that and then tuck it down firmly, like so. It's really an easy process. And this is very similar to the one that I've done earlier. So if you haven't watched that video, you can go to the channel. I'll leave the link and uh, you can watch that one. It's very similar to this. The only difference here is that on the previous one, we were skipping one entire line before drawing your, your next style lines. So I'm just tying the thread here before I start tacking the next uh, points. So you can see you skip the, that box. You come to the next point where you drew a line. Okay. And you are doing this on the wrong side of the fabric. Okay. So this will be the wrong side of your, of your material. Okay. So you pick 
that edge and you are joining it to the other edge just allowing the, the thread to lie okay secure it and then you join those two or you tuck those two pieces rather those two points together like that and you are going to tuck down those two points make sure it's secure so you can make several knots there before you go on to cut your thread make sure your knots are tight so that the pattern will stay even after you've gone on to cut or to attach this piece to wherever you are going to attach it on your fabric okay or on your project okay so we've done our first two points and we are going to continue doing this until you finish the um, entire column okay so we are just repeating what we've done we are just securing the thread there on the starting point of your style line then you go to the edge of that style line and you join the two points together like that and make sure that the two points kind of kiss or they touch and then you just knot that make sure it's tightly done and then you finish doing the same process and then you go to the next line so in the next column your your style line will be going in the opposite direction but you're doing the same thing you're just joining those two pieces or rather those two points so i've gone on to to finish the first line that's the first line i've done okay now i'm going to do the second line and you can see we are going to skip the first box that was an empty box so we go to the next one okay you can see now i'm going to go in the opposite direction so i'm just picking the edge like that secure it nicely and then you go to the corner of that style line okay i'm allowing the thread to relax and then I'm just going to to join the two edges, okay? Pick the edges and you just tuck them together. Make sure that thread stays under, under there. You just tuck it in and then you tuck those two, okay? You can also just join those two pieces directly, whichever works for you, as long as you achieve the same effect. Okay, we're going on to cut that. And then we'll move on to the next point. So you skip the box that's empty and then you go to the next place or the next line that you drew. That one, okay. We're going to pick that edge and we're joining it to the other edge okay okay so it's really the same process and then you pick the other edge like that and you do this really with your needle you can see if you're going about it with a machine it might get um, complicated as you go on because the fabric begins to kind of shrink. So you need to be very, very careful when you're doing it. But if you're able to do it, you can also use the machine. But I'd recommend that you use needle and thread like I said earlier. So you join those pieces or rather those two points. I don't know why I keep on saying join the pieces. Um, it's like the word is in my mind so you're joining the two edges like that and you secure it tightly yeah so you really need to be patient to do this okay 
and we're going to continue doing this until we've finished the whole design so you can see we have the next style line there and we are going to do the same thing we are joining that edge like so make sure you secure it okay like that then you pick the edge okay secure it and then join those two points like that you can see it's a very simple process requiring a lot of patience <laughs> yeah okay this thread is getting in the way so i'll just chop that off okay secure it make sure it's tight so i'm going to go ahead and do this for the entire fabric and then i'll show you how it looks like so far this is how it's looking when you turn to the right side so let's go on and do the entire piece join all the pieces and then i'll just follow the style lines and then i will finish that line go to the next line like that and then i'll come back and show you how it will look like after i've joined all the points just following the flow of the style line like that okay so this is what i've done so far i'm still going on with the sewing and the tacking but i just wanted you to see how it's going on so here i'm going to continue so i'm picking the edge of this point or this point and i'm going to be joining it to the other edge okay you can see the thread you know the the fabric uh, frays a lot this particular one so it's kind of getting the, those threads are kind of getting into the way but uh, basically just securing that stitch and then securing the other stitch okay i think i need to chop off these threads from the edge so that they stop interfering with the process okay okay i'm just chopping this off completely yeah so and then i'm going to continue with the process just securing the other edge okay and then i'm just going to sew those two points together that way okay and then just joining those two points by tacking them down with the needle and thread and i'm just making sure that the thread is secure okay and remember if you have to do this design make sure you add to the length and width of your fabric because as you can see it it shrinks as you go on creating the design okay so if you're making a sleeve for example and you want to apply it on the entire sleeve you want to double the length and add a few inches to your width as well otherwise you might run short of your fabric okay i'm going to leave the last boxes so that i have space there you don't want it to cringe so much so now going back up you go to the next line i need to yeah snap this yeah it's it's quite fraying so the next line there so empty box there then the next one is the next one we're going to be um tucking down and um, 
continue with the process yeah it's it's a repetitive process but the reward the the outcome is rewarding rather because it creates a very very beautiful design so for my boxes i had used um one inch all round you can use two if you want your designs to be more broad or one and a half it depends on the outlook that you want so i'm just saying i'm showing i'm just showing you basically how you go about creating these canadian smoking designs so you join those two make sure that you don't skip any line in between any style line in between because it's going to distort the sequence of your design when you now flip it to the right side so make sure you follow through each style line that you have drawn okay so that you get a nice uh, sequence of your design flowing so we're going to go on with this um, process I'm just going to do one more okay I just want to verify that I'm not skipping any lines there okay So I'm just going to follow the sequence of the style lines, okay, and go on like that until I've applied this tacking and sewing to all the style lines on the on the fabric. So I'm just securing it this way, okay, okay, go to the other edge. okay secure it i also want to show you something that you can do because you can actually tuck these two down uh, like directly okay make sure the thread that's popping up lie down in between those two uh, pieces that or the two points that you are joining okay so we secure that and then I'll just show you how you can tuck the two points directly. So use whichever method uh, works for you. So I'm just tying it several times to make sure that it's firm. I'm going on to cut that. Okay, so make sure you tie the edges of your thread. So you can also do it this way, okay? You can just pick the two points directly. So you pick that point, you pick the other points that you need to join, and you just tuck them down directly like that. Secure them. Make a few stitches there. And um, tuck it down firmly. The needle is just falling there. Okay. Like that. You can see I'm just tying it down several times. Just to make sure that it's secure. So you can you can do it either way. Whichever way works best for you. As long as the two points that you are tacking down are secure and you will be able to get the same outcome so i'll continue doing this until i finished and then i'll come back after i'm done so i'm about halfway done i'll go and finish it off and then i'll come back and uh, show you how it looks like so i'll keep on going all the way on in all the columns and then we'll see how it's going to look like yeah
so i've come on to finish tacking down all the pieces or rather all the points i don't know why i keep on saying pieces i don't know why that word is in my mind okay so i was just chopping off some threads there this is how it's how it um, this is rather how the design is looking on the wrong side of the fabric i was joining the points from one point to the next following the style line okay voila this is how it looks like on the right side i like this it's so beautiful look at that so you can imagine this on your sleeves you can imagine it on uh, maybe your york or on your cushion or wherever it is i think it might also look nice as a pocket patch right if you create a pocket um uh, the one that you kind of top stitch on your garment. I think it can look nice. I'm just getting like a light bulb moment. Maybe that's one thing I should try. Yeah, you can like leave enough spaces around it to make kind of frills. And then you attach it as a pocket. I wonder how that would look. I think I should try that project. What do you think? <laughs> so yeah, wow, this looks so nice. I'm very happy with the outcome. Um, I'd encourage you to try it out and uh, apply it on different parts of your garment. It's going to give it um, a different effect. And you can see it's very easy to do. You just use your needle and thread. Um, but of course, you need the patience because it's going to take time, especially if you're applying it to a large um, portion of uh, your garment. But um, the outcome is rewarding. This is how it looks like. On the outside again you see where I was connecting the points but it's on the inside so no one sees that but um, this is the overall look that you get following the pattern that I showed you so try it out um, you can teach a friend your family or just someone who is interested it's very easy really um there'll be more series that i'll be uploading on the canadian smoking so please stay tuned to our channel i'll see you in our next video bye